Now this brings us to the High Cross, and this is named for its patron, uh, Murdoch. And this is one of many erected between 800 and 1200. It's a rare example of monumental stone sculpture since the collapse of Rome. Of course, Rome was known for monumental structures. Ireland is not, but again, Ireland is kind of isolated. So they have their own culture, and we do see monumental stonework going on there. The piece was likely originally painted, and on it we see images from both the Old and New Testament. Most of them are the Passion of the Christ or the story of Jesus. On the far left here we see the crucifixion with two angels above. Uh, the two people that seem to be stabbing Jesus are represent representations of the centurion that stabbed him in the side upon his death. In the center we have a representation of the miracle of the loaves and fishes. And on the far right, we see uh, Adam and Eve with the fruit of the forbidden tree, as well as the story of Cain and Abel. And these narratives would have covered the entire cross. Now, this is a grave marker, and it really tells us something about who is buried there, that they put this kind of effort into creating this monumental stone piece Basically, for a dead person, anytime we create a massive memorial, it means there's some importance there. Now, this type of cross where we have the circle uh, that's touching on the four arms, as well as the square terminals or ends of each arm, that is termed a Celtic cross.